why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European? Welcome to the desert of the real. I want to give my thoughts on that that sitting on the sideline thing. Um, we got a lot of people. Like, if you have a a a, a team that you're getting ready to play, it seems to me like everybody wants to develop strategies and tactics and this and that and and what are you going to do? I want to know exactly how we're going to do. But nobody ever discussed the main. Thing that we have to discuss before we even do the strategy and the tactics. Do you want to beat this, this team? Do you want to win? Right. right. <laughs> if everybody on the team is not in agreement that they want to win, then what strategies and tactics, what difference does that make? Hmm. And it's the same thing. I see the same way with nationhood. Can we agree that we want to have something of our own? If we can't agree on that, then why do I need? Why do you need to know details of something that you don't even believe, believe in? Exactly. That's exactly. why the first step is: Do we want this? It's just like an Alcoholics Anonymous. You got to acknowledge that you're an alcoholic. Mm-hmm. You got to acknowledge that you're a drug dealer. You got to not, you know, a, a, a drug addict, I should say. And you got to acknowledge the thing that you are before you can change anything. Right. So right. we've already acknowledged that this is hostile territory for us. We are not mm-hmm. wanted here. We are not welcome here. I've showed you, we've showed you countless times. I mean, to the point where it's not even an arguable point. Right. We showed you so many ways that we are treated as second and third class citizens. So the question is, and I'm talking to every person that can hear my, my voice on this broadcast and even if every person that can hear the YouTube clip when I make it, you, the person listening, what are you going to do? Do you want nationhood? You. Sure. Stop looking to everybody else. Stop trying to figure out what Holop is doing, what Dev is doing, what Minister and Mac is doing. What do you want? Do you want to stay here and be treated like a second and third class citizen, or do you feel that your people should have a nation of their own. That's the first step. Uh Everybody wants to make things more complicated than they really are. Do you want a nation or do you not want a nation? Are you going to shit or are you going to get off the pot? Right. And that's for every person. Every person as an individual has to ask themselves that question. What do you want? And if you want that, connect with other people that want the same thing. And then we can get this. This is not difficult to get. The only reason why it's difficult to get is because you got so many people throwing turds in the punch bowl and try to get you distracted on other bullshit and not concentrate it and narrow it down to the common denominator. Do we want a nation? Do we want self-sufficiency? Do we want to control our reality? Or do we want to be under someone else's control? That's it. So if you're kicking this nation within a nation stuff, then you mean, you're really saying you want to be under someone else's control. Exactly. Exactly. So that's it. That's how I feel about it. 